morning, guys. It's early. It's 4.52 a.m. I have one flight out to San Francisco and then one flight back tomorrow, but it's like a 27 hour layover. I'm not gonna pack much for this one because I didn't really meal prep, but I am bringing baby carrots, this lab labna, labna, lemon, uh, lemon dill dairy-free yogurt dip by Coco June and the winter Olipop. This morning was one of those mornings where I was just kind of like, the second my alarm went off, I was just like, whoa. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm gonna bring two apples and then some cheese from Trader Joe's. I'm definitely gonna need a coffee. Peppermint is back at Starbucks. I don't know if it ever left, but it's definitely like pe peppermint syrup seasoning. Pe peppermint syrup season at Starbucks. I'm a little cold, I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna throw my sweater, my work sweater in the dryer turn that on for a minute and let's go to the airport. I'm excited because I have a good crew. I don't know one of them, but I've heard really good things. So yeah, I could keep talking, but I have 10 minutes till I need to be out the door. So let's go start this trip. Wow, this is my first time using my old vlogging camera in so long. I love this camera. I miss it because it's so compact, but I love my other camera too. The quality is just phenomenal on the other one, but I do miss this one. This is the Canon G7X. That flight was so long. <laughs> it was six hours and 50 something minutes and we ended up being delayed an hour because I'm not exactly sure why the inbound aircraft was late, but the customers were great and I had a great crew like I said earlier. So it wasn't horrible, it was, it was fine. It's just this time of year, the winds are crazy going out west and they just make everything so much longer, but hopefully that means tomorrow going home will be quick, and that's what I prefer. I'd rather it be longer starting the trip and then being really quick coming back. But it's only like 1 p.m. since we did have such a crazy early flight, and I'm gonna go out. I just wanna take advantage of the day. I wanna go out. I wanna probably get not like a coffee, but maybe something like a matcha. You know, do what I always do in San Francisco and walk. But I want to look cute because I do wanna go into some of the vintage clothing stores here and just kind of poke around and see what they have. So I wanna freshen up because I will be out on the town and who knows, maybe trying on some clothes. And I just feel like I need that extra life brought into my face. So I'm gonna do a very simple, quick makeup routine that I've been loving lately. This segment of my video is sponsored by my absolute favorite makeup company, Merit. And I'm gonna go in first with the Great Skin Serum. This stuff is perfect and it's the first thing after I wash my face after a flight, I put the Great Serum back on. Even if I don't put anything else on my face, I always put the Great Serum on my face. I always make sure to shake it up and to pat it into my skin for absorption. This has four different types of hyaluronic acid, so it penetrates through different layers of your skin, which is what I need. It's like a drink of water after I've been on a dry airplane. And it just gives your skin an overall glow and plumpness, like you can already see a difference in my skin just from putting that on. I let that settle for a minute, and then the next thing I'm gonna go in with is the Minimalist Stick in the shade Ochre. This Sometimes I just use it as concealer. I want a little bit more full coverage today, so I'm gonna kinda just go in. But yeah, you can use it as spot treatment or more of a full coverage look. The Minimalist has fatty acids that actually lock in moisture into your skin, and that's why I love wearing it while I'm flying and when I'm not flying. I think that's my favorite part about Merit's products is that I don't have to worry about it stripping my skin of anything. I can actually rely on it to add benefits to my skin and keeping it moisturized and hydrated. I have my little mirror here, so I'm not just using my camera as a mirror. All of Merit's products are non-comedogenic, which means it's not gonna clog up your pores. Next, I'm going in with the Flush Balm and Raspberry Beret, just to bring some lit from within color to my face. The Flush Balm has vitamin E in it, which conditions your skin. It's also formulated with micro pigmentation powders so that it gives this light touch of color instead of having like a cakey 
heavy look on your face. Sometimes I use a brush, sometimes I just rub this in with my fingers. This looks so much better already. I also like to use this one as a lip tint just to give you a more like cohesive look. And I actually keep the flush bomb on me in my purse at all times, just for little touch-ups throughout the day. Now I'm using the Brow 1980 in the color brown, just to freshen up my face and give me more of an awake look. This is a mineral-based formula that doesn't flake or smudge, so it holds all day. I've been growing my eyebrows out and I kind of like the bushy look. What's cool about their brow gel, which I didn't know until recently, is that it actually, what's really cool about this formula is that it actually has B5 in it, so it helps strengthen and condition your brows while giving a little bit more definition and color. And that's it, I'm keeping it simple. This is the final look. Merit is granting me exclusive early access to their Black Friday Cyber Monday sale, so you can use code Vera20 at checkout to get 20% off your entire order for 24 hours only. So that means right now. Don't miss this opportunity to shop Merit and get this really good deal. Every first Merit order ships with this really cute little corduroy bag. This is their signature bag and every order over $40 ships for free. Merit makes a great holiday gift both for you or any makeup lovers or novices you might know. Thank you again to Merit for sponsoring this portion of my video. Okay, I've got my hoodie on. I'm all ready to go now. God, that, I'm sorry, but that flush bomb looks so good, I feel. All right, all black outfit, ASIC shoes. We're keeping it simple today. Look at my view, I forgot to even show you guys. It's kind of nice. San Francisco. I'm on the 14th floor. The rest of my crew is on the 22nd floor, so they have an even better view. Sometimes you get the good views. Sometimes you get the still good, but not as good. But no, this is still good. I'm just messing around. Charging my phone a little bit. This is all the water I drank today. This is so bad. It ends right there. I hardly drank any water on the plane today. And I was drinking a lot of caffeine. Part of me wants to walk to that. I don't know if I can walk there. I mean, I'm sure I could, but I wanna, ow! I just smashed my elbow on the table. I wanna go to that beach that's on the other side of the Golden Gate Bridge. I've actually never been there. I forgot the name of the beach. Baker Beach, that's where I wanna go. Cause I, I don't know, I've just always wanted to do it. I thought about doing the Golden Gate Bridge, but I decided I wanna do that with someone. Like, I don't know if I wanna do that necessarily by myself one day. I feel like it would be fun to do with someone, like when I'm working with a friend. So I might hold off on that. But then who knows, maybe one day I'm just gonna randomly decide to go walk the Golden Gate Bridge by myself. We shall see. But let's go because the day is being wasted. I've been up since 1 a.m. West Coast time because my alarm was set for 4 a.m. East Coast time. I'm exhausted and I feel very dehydrated, so I'm drinking this coconut water with aloe juice in it. I went to Whole Foods, I got some stuff. I went thrift shopping. So I put a pole up. Gosh, this angle is not good, but I don't have, I should have brought my um, tripod. For my camera but anyway i put a poll up on instagram about which jacket i should get and everyone was so convincing to get they, like everyone had a convincing argument for each one i got this leather bomber jacket and i didn't want to spend the money like i was i was like no i need to be responsible but let's just say someone gave me an early christmas present because they knew how badly i wanted these so i'm very grateful very excited and now I get to have these cool jackets this winter. Okay, so this is the leather bomber jacket. This one is from the 80s. And then there's this one. Now, most people voted for the leather bomber jacket, but I did, it was almost even with this navy jacket. Like it literally says US Navy. This is a really cool jacket. It's a US Navy jacket from the 70s, I'm pretty sure. It might be from the 80s. And I'm absolutely in love with it. It's it's definitely worn. It's got some wear and tear, 
but I'm gonna trim some of the little loose strings. Overall, I just love it. Like, oh, I think it's so cool. It's so unique. People are like, how are, some people were like, how are you even gonna wear that? What do you mean? How am I gonna wear it? You can wear it with jeans. You can wear it with like cut off shorts one day. You can wear it with like your athletic wear just to throw over your clothes. Like it's just a light jacket. I love it. And then last but not least, actually it's not even last. This, this one was the one people were the most passionate about in my DMs. And this one, I was like, no, like there's no way, it's too impractical. Well, since it ended up being a gift, it's perfect. But this jacket is so cool. The tag said it's made in Argentina. Look at it, look at the fur. It's in pristine condition. It's this little old lady that was working um, the shop and she was freaking out over it. She was like, you're honestly getting such a good deal. She goes, it's priced so low for the quality of it. She goes, it looks like it was never worn. It just has this one little button that you button right here. Anyway, I, it's so unique. This, I know I kept saying this with like the jackets I got at the thrift. I have been buying so many jackets, but that's my thing is like, I wear jackets in the winter and that's my look. Like I wear very basic pieces underneath because in the winter time, you're mainly wearing your jacket. So like, I don't care about fashionable like base layers. I just get plain items and maybe like, like I have plain sweaters. It's the outerwear that makes the statement. I am so excited for this jacket. But yes, people were in my DMs so passionate. Like Vera, you have to get that jacket. And here I am with it. I love it so much. I don't know why, it makes me think of um, like the Joseph coat of many colors or something, but also like Janis Joplin at the same time. Like it's just, but also Russian stepmom. Like it's a little bit of everything. I love it. And then while I was standing there, I saw these. I tried them on these heels, these little platform heels. And of course I'm a sucker for when this happened, but this girl was like, oh my God, those look so good on you can't really tell. She was like, oh my God, those look so good on you. And I'm a sucker for when that happens. So I was like, all right, add these on. <laughs> and then I went to Whole Foods. Where's my Whole Foods bag? Oh, it's over here. Whole Foods is having a huge sale in their like body care beauty area. So I grabbed, I went for water and I wanted to grab a couple things for tomorrow. So I got this Chobani black cherry yogurt. I've been really into black cherry everything lately. Cherry, black cherry, tart cherry. I've just been on a big cherry kick. Like I bought red tart cherry juice or whatever and I've been obsessed with the way it tastes. I got the Rebel Protein drink because I'm trying to be up, like keep up with my protein. I got the organic pressed juice. This is carrot, apple, lemon, ginger, turmeric. So I'm hoping that tastes kind of like the go away doc that I've been getting from Joe the Juice lately. And since they were having a huge sale on like beauty products and hair, I think the hair stuff was included, this was on sale. And then I got an extra 30% off the sale price because I have Prime. So this is a shower cap. I've been wanting a good shower cap to keep in my suitcase because I usually just rely on whether or not the hotel has a shower cap and not all of them do, like only a few do. And it sucks when I blow out my hair, but then I need to take a shower on the layover and I don't have my shower cap that I usually have at home. So this ended up being on like crazy sale and it's just a very basic but cute little shower cap. I like it. And then I've been dying to try heatless curls. So this was on sale, obviously. And I'm gonna try it out tonight, I think. It says to do it on damp hair. I know some people do it when their hair is already dry, but I'm gonna try it tonight because I really need to wash my hair, but I don't wanna blow dry it and damage it. And I've heard that it's okay to sleep in, like it doesn't really bother you that much to sleep in it. But basically you wrap your hair around this, like or, this little thing around your head, and then I put my bangs in this part up here, the ceramic thermal roller. I think I have a bobby pin. I do have bobby pins to secure the roller. But I can talk and talk and talk, but I'm exhausted. I wanna sleep and I wanna wake up early so that I can walk and enjoy the day tomorrow before it's time to go to work. I'm so spacey right now. 
Oh my gosh. Well, I had something really funny happen today. Walking all over, I had such a nice time, but, and I walked a lot. I don't even know. Let's see how many miles I walked. 12.9 miles. Honestly, I feel like I walked more, but I guess that's it. When I was walking there, I was walking along the beach and there was this really cute dog and the dog would run by me. Well, it did it once and it like shook itself and sprayed me with like the ocean water and the owner laughed. He was like, I'm sorry. Sometimes I think he does it on or she does it on purpose. And so I just laughed. I was like, hmm, maybe. And then I we kept walking and then it happened again later. The same dog, same guy, dog shook on me. And I was like, you're right, I think he is doing, or she, the dog was a she, I think she is doing it on purpose. And um, we were like kind of walking in the same direction. And then he was still throwing the ball for the dog. Well, he threw the ball for the dog and all this sand came down on my head and my hoodie. And I was like, where did that come from? I didn't know he was, like, I didn't realize he was throwing the ball. I turn around and he was like this. He was like, oh my God. I am so sorry and I because he was already apologizing about his dog like shaking on me or shaking near me and then that happened I just had to laugh I was like it's fine he ended up being really nice we ended up chatting for a while because we were walking in the same direction his dog's name was Huckleberry that is the cutest name for a dog I think I've ever heard Huckleberry for a little dog it was nice chatting with him but then when I was in the thrift store too, the, that one girl started talking to me. And actually when I was in the thrift store earlier today, cause I came back and got this stuff. Like I left, walked around, thought about it. And then I was able to come back and get it. Um, I was chatting with the girls then too. And I'm just like, this never happens in Boston. And I'm not trying to be down on Boston, but I'm just like, this casual conversation never happens in Boston. People just don't, I feel like they don't talk to each other like that in the city in Boston, like they do here in San Francisco. And it's funny because I went out the other night with my friend, we went out in Boston, and the only people we did like end up striking up conversation with and chatting with didn't live in Boston. They lived somewhere else and were visiting Boston. We did end up chatting with one, but he lived in Worcester, so that doesn't even count. I always think about that. I don't know what it is about Boston. I feel like it's just hard to strike up casual conversation in that city. And I love Bostonians. I love Massachusetts people. I love like New England, but it is a very different vibe when it comes to being out and about. Okay, here we are, final product. I've got my hair in the heatless rollers and they give you the one to put on the top. I'm listening to a podcast right now. So that's the background noise but i feel pretty i don't know i feel like it was easy i know i didn't do it perfectly yet i've still got to pay attention to i need to make this smoother eventually but overall i feel like so far so good i don't know we'll see i i didn't even look at the instructions again like i should have i guess we'll find out but i'm going to bed now good night Good morning. I'm wearing the leather jacket out for my walk. I'm kind of debating if I want to do my these headphones. I don't know how long I'll be out for. These last longer. I changed my mind. I'm wearing the US Navy jacket because it just looks really cute with the blue headphones. Look at the curls, by the way. I took the curls out and it looks really good. I don't think I showed y'all. I, I made a TikTok video about it, taking them out this morning. Fills. I think I want fills today. I don't think I want Cafe Rebelé. Fills just sounds good. I feel like I look rough today too, but it's okay. So pleased when this layover was over because I just I had such a good time in my opinion it was the perfect layover lots of walking good food good coffee good matcha a little bit of thrift shopping it was perfect and a great hotel I stayed at one of my favorite hotels in 
the system. But if you did want to try some of the Merit products, I highly recommend doing it now. Take advantage of the uh, code that I have, capital V-E-R-A 20, Vera 20 at checkout. I'll leave a link for Merit below. You can just go to Merit.com and use the code. It's very simple. But remember, it's only valid for today now that this video is posted. But for those of you who are new here, my name is Vera. Please say hello in the comments because it really makes my day. Please give this video a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And I will see you guys in my next vlog. Do not forget to subscribe. Love y'all. Bye.